Tied up at seven in the bottom of the eighth, but there's runners in scoring position. This breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings. Nice splitter from Stanek right there. Really nice. And another one gets a piece of it, but that's a nice pitch. Goes up top with the fastball to set up another splitter. Not there, but that one is. Look at the grip on this thing. Really cool pitch. Just kind of sticks it in there so it's got a lot of traction. And then when he lets go, all that grip kind of just makes it tumble. I love splitters. They're a fun pitch. I enjoy them. Next batter comes up. That is high. And then in the zone, 97 center cut. Fouled back up top again. Is he setting up the splitter? He is, but he misses. 2-2. Does he get it? No. He kind of wanted that. Now it's a 3-2, so he's going to get set. He's going to take his time. Oh, oh, wants to readjust. Nope, that's a balk. That's a balk. He goes, what the fuck? What are you talking about? I stepped off. No, you bent. Then you stepped off. You got to be fucking kidding me. No way. I stepped off. How the fuck is that a balk? What? How the fuck is that a balk? He stepped off. He stepped off. All right, so let's take a look. The umpire behind him is the one that calls it, and he's staring at his legs. Everyone's getting ready. He's staring at his legs, and he says, nope, let's reset. That's a balk. And then the ump behind home plate says, yep, he's right. I agree with him. That's a balk. And Sanic's like, what? are you talking about the go ahead run scored? And this is what we're talking about. Just that, that bend, that bend. What a silly rule. I mean, the umpires called it according to the rule, like the strict, 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 strictness of the rule. We just got to kind of change the rule because this is not trying to deceive the runners in any way, nor is it, it's not doing anything, but yeah, because he did that and then steps off. Technically it's a balk. He bent his knee first. So now he's got to complete the at-bat. 3-2 pitch. He's still a little rattled. That's way outside. Now you got another runner on. You're losing the game now. He's got to collect himself, get out of this inning, give his team the chance to come back. But he's not happy. 98 fastball. That's low. And catcher's like, calm down, calm down. It's okay. We're good. Don't worry about it. 96 in the zone. We all like that. 1-1 pitch. Doesn't get it. Catcher kind of wants it, turns to the ump. It's like, ah, oh, could have wanted that. You know, he says, ah, oh, strike or ball? In? Oh, okay. Oh, don't agree with that either, but okay, cool. The 2-1, that's low. So now it's 3-1. and one. Catcher says, come on, come on. You know, stay in it. Stay in it. There you go, 98 up top. All fastballs. There you go, catcher. Love it. And then another fastball high and in. 3-2, fastball down the middle. Get some fucking terrible fucking terrible you're fucking terrible that's fucking terrible come on i'm just like oh were you talking to me huh that's bullshit coach's voice it is bullshit that's fucking bullshit fucking bullshit <laughs> i love that shot of the um hmm. standing in his ground hmm. god damn it fucking balk Grow the fuck up. <laughs> is he talking to the crowd there? Or is he talking to the umpires for calling box on just slight knee movements? Anyway, the Dodgers won this game. They're celebrating in his face, having so much fun. This umpire, hmm. <laughs> This breakdown was brought to you by DraftKings. Thank you to DraftKings. We appreciate you, as always, for sponsoring the breakdowns. Thank you guys for watching them. I know this one was delayed. I was on paternity leave, had a little baby. She's very adorable. See ya.